Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is JD and Dylan from Letter Rip Side by Side at Adventure. I told you I would catch back up to you. It was a heck of a drive yesterday, but we are currently, where are we at, Dylan? Dude, we're in the beautiful area of Moab, Utah. We're like, Dylan's like, we should start out with something moderate, maybe. He talked about it, and <laughs> what were we saying all day yesterday? We Shit to do. <laughs> <laughs> you heard them. We do. We got shit to do. So we're coming right after it. We are at Poison Spider Mesa. Uh, we are going to go run that. Uh, we're not going to record absolutely everything that we do up here on some of these trail systems. One, because I already have videos of some of that stuff. We are going to go out and get the obstacles, all the miscellaneous stuff that is cool as far as a viewer's point of view. So we are going to get that stuff. And then what's the name of that one? Where Eagles dare to fly or something Eagle, i think dare to fly. yeah something like that I, I'm, I'm not too sure but yeah we're gonna try it out so we are gonna head down to that as well you pretty much you go up poison spider mesa then you've got golden spike you run just a small section of golden spike and then from there you can get to where eagles fly or where eagles dare to fly or uh, they say your brakes got to work right don't gas it coming up it because it's like this and a little bit of this but there's an awesome picture spot where we'd like to try to get to that is actually the game plan what did we do yesterday for the drive we drove Drove and drove. How many hours straight? I think it was 24, yeah. 24, 25. <laughs> no, it was. It was 24 hours straight just to haul ass to get here to uh, get four, four and a half solid days of riding. We've got all kinds of things planned. So we are going to get our gear together. We're going to throw some cameras on and uh, let's go do some riding, buddy. Yeah, buddy. All right. All right. Now, for me, guys, this is an all new experience on a Pro R. I have never rock crawled with this thing. I have never been able to test out what its crawling capabilities are. So hopefully, hopefully thumbs up on that scenario. All right guys, so we are slowly but surely moseying our way. We just got started up here at Poison Spider Mesa. You can see Dylan back there. Um, for him, this is his first experience out here, so really excited to check it out. Uh, now, I've never used the lockers or the rock mode on this machine, so I'm curious to check that stuff out.
veggies coming up here in a little bit and then we start getting into like the waterfall and stuff like that so all right, cool. yeah you do have the advantage that's one thing that is a bummer like this i thought the trail went this way i just you cannot see over the nose of that big cantankerous turd so oh. like coming up this i'm like well i hope the trail goes this way <laughs> Yeah, sorry about the dust back there. I didn't even think about that. So. Oh, no, it's, I was in low. Oh, sure. And I thought you were taking it out of four. So I just stayed in low and then you took off. And I'm like, ah, oh, this is a nice straight stretch. <laughs> so I had to stop, put it in high, All right. take off. Uh, yeah, that's cool. All right, awesome. So yeah, we'll get a lot of stuff like that. Yeah, uh, what's up? Yeah. yeah, and it's amazing now, <laughs> you know? All right, so this obstacle is called the wedgie. Uh, a pretty serious V-notch here, so. obstacle guys this is considered waterfall um, it's not horrible but really kind of puts you at an off camber spot right here at the very beginning but once you get past that uh, just walks up there no problem this off though guys I do have to let some air out of my tires Go ahead. nice job I gotta take a little air out of my tires
can't see my line. As you can see guys, we are all up in it. We are in it. We are gonna go check out the arch, which is right, right over there. Go and check out the arch. Arches. <laughs> yep, Dylan said these rocks are extremely sticky. Dude, I can't believe how sticky they are. Yeah. I didn't think the tires were gonna do well because they're like burnt. <laughs> yeah. But they're doing amazing yeah. so far. Yeah, so that's what one thing people say Moab in a sense is cheating. And it really does. You can get to some spots that you normally wouldn't be able to get to. A lot of what Moab consists of is the mental game. There might be a track up it. When you go up it and you're standing straight up and down, that's the point where you have to really focus on trying to get over the mental game type deal. But so far, so good. Let's go check out this arch. Right up there, you can just see the roof. Dylan's coming down. It is just a short little walk here and spits you up and around. And then you got the arch up over around the corner. Sorry about the wind, guys. It's always windy at the top. Yeah. What's that? It feels nice though, that yeah. wind. Yes. Yeah, but. Ooh -wee. Ooh -wee. I'm not extremely like sketched out on heights, but like, whew, it's one of those. It's like, holy heck. All right, because if it goes wrong, guys. Like it goes wrong. Yep, out on out on the arch, out on the arch. Out on the arch. All right. Yep, we're pretty cool. Either way, that's what it is. Uh, there's arches all over Moab that you can go check out. You got Arches National Park. Um, you've got this one. This is, uh, I don't know if it's a little arch. Either way, they're all over. It's kind of cool feature here in Moab. So we are gonna get back to the rigs and then we're gonna keep on motor scooting and see, we're gonna go to the overlook, overlooking Moab and then we will pick you up from Coming there. Coming from a small town with big dreams. Every time you fall down, they gon' see. But nobody can pick me up on my feet. They just rather leave me down on my knees. Everybody change ever since the music. But I'm still the same, I'm just on some new shit. If I don't even know you, then I'm chucking deuces. Hit me on my new phone, I'm like, who this? Tell me why you call. I don't even know you anymore And the last time I seen you I was standing in the cold Outside on the curb While you were closing the door You probably try and get me back Just to hurt me some more But I'm a changed man 
Stick into the game plan, dirty of my name It don't matter what you say, yeah I've been trying to grow, I've been making changes Now they call me swag like I'm not the same kid Tell me who that is, a neighbor bastard Yeah, I used to be him, but that was the past me So I'm moving past it On to a new adventure, screw your attachments Cause none of it's coming with you I got some big dreams, I got some high hopes Still gotta swim, even on days when the tide's slow If nobody's with me, I do it on my own I'm finally here, but damn, it's been a long road Coming from a small town with big dreams Every time you fall down, they go See, but nobody could pick me up on my feet They just rather leave me down on my knees Everybody change ever since the music But I'm still the same, I'm just on some new shit If I don't even know you, then I'm chucking deuces Hit me on my new phone, I'm like, who this? Tell me who that, yeah If I don't know the name and I ain't calling you back Just keep that energy the same, it's like it was in the past You ask me if I remember you and I try not to laugh Cause you don't even know my name, that's why you calling me swag And I just think it's funny because Everybody that used to hate me is showing me love, yeah And I ain't mad, I just risen above So if we ain't friends, I consider it luck, yeah And I forgive you, but I ain't gon' lie For a second, I really thought you was on my side Every lesson is a blessing and this ain't called life You fool me twice, yeah, the blame's on mine So if you ask me to chill I probably won't Cause the kid you remember doesn't exist anymore Had to lay on the rest For the sake of my soul You say that you understand But I can see that you don't Cause when you coming from a small town With big dreams Every time you fall down They gon' see But nobody could pick me up on my feet They just rather leave me down on my knees Everybody change ever since the music But I'm still the same I'm just on some new shit If I don't even know you then I'm trying Induces. Hit me on my new phone, I'm like, who this? I got some big dreams, I got some high hopes Still gotta swim, even on days when the tide's slow If nobody's with me, I do it on my own I'm finally here, but damn, it's been a long road Coming from a small town with big dreams Alright guys, so this is, I guess it's Barney's Overlook, I believe is what it's called so first off, what does Dylan think? Just a slight, small impression of Moab so this far. Just amazing, just amazing. Yep, so Dylan said we're staying someplace. Right over here. Yeah. So, so far we were kind of concerned about the parking aspect of where we're staying because it is right downtown. They did accommodate our big can tankers trailer. Yeah, they did a great job. Yeah, and I'm kind of impressed about the place we're staying. It wasn't it's wasn't what I was expecting. It's nice. Yeah. It is very nice. So as you guys can see, though, that is indeed Moab. Uh, that is LaSalle Mountain Range, which I think game plan is, is we might try to make it up there. I'm hoping so. Yeah. So from here, guys, I'm not going to do all the recording. I think we're going to cut this video off here because we have to go back down. A lot of the stuff we already came up, so you guys have seen that. Um, so we're just going to get ourselves down to the bottom, and then I think we're going to hit a small section of Golden Spike, and then it takes you to where Eagle's dare to fly now i heard it's not extremely difficult but it's one of those it's like this and like this type deal where you really need throttle control as far as getting up and down some of that stuff so that's our next venture that'll be the next video you see after this one so i want to say it again and i know i said it before appreciate each and every one of you i appreciate all the support you guys give us um, without your guys's help sponsors and other stuff shout out to you nick at lang's power sports um, it's one of those we wouldn't be doing what we're doing so once again guys mash that subscribe hit that thumbs up hit that notification bell if you want to see content when we post to keep up with our adventures and what do we always say on to the next adventure thanks guys